project has been on from uh, maybe one and a half years. Uh, I guess the last lockdown that I recall, uh, it, it started during that time in April and May. And it's been on ever since. It's been close to one and a half years now uh, that I would say. If I have to talk about the business being affected, luckily, luckily, we, uh, we, we went through a lot of pandemic times and, and we went through a couple of more lockdowns, which uh, during which time I saw the work was going on and then they tried to completing the job uh, during this pandemic and during the lockdown time. So uh, business wise, I would not say much loss, but yes, uh, pandemic has affected the business and uh, the roadworks added on to the problems to that, I would say. Approximately, would you want to even quote in terms of the loss? See, commercial street, uh, in, in uh, quantifying terms, uh, I, I cannot uh, correlate uh, the loss to just the road work, pandemic was a bigger, bigger, uh, you know, uh, problem I would say to face. And uh, road work has actually, on the contrary, been good because the kind of times that we have seen where the road was potholed, the road sewage was overflowing, and uh, a lot of problems uh, being faced by the commuters and uh, pedestrians, they've all been taken care, in fact. They've all been taken care uh, during this time. So we would want uh, the customers and the shopkeepers and uh, everybody who's walking on Commercial Street to have a pleasant atmosphere rather than have uh, sewage overflowing on the on the road. But what do you have to talk about where, you know, it was just a month ago the work was complete, right? When was it completed? I wouldn't say it was completed. It was work in progress, yes, but uh, there was a chief minister's visit uh, which gave a, a indication to the people that the street is being inaugurated. But actually the uh, thing was that the chief minister had come to uh, inspect the work works done and not actually the inauguration or the completion. No, 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 uh, Mr. Yadirappa. When Mr. Yadirappa came, he, he had actually come to inspect the street and not really as an inauguration to the opening of the street. It was still a work in progress then. Yes, uh, I would say 90% of the work was done, but uh, certain certain areas were yet to be completed. Okay, so when you say 90%, we understand the paver blocks were already put up. Yes. But now it is being removed, the work is being redone. There is a technical challenge there. I mean, the paver blocks were definitely put, but the initial arrangement was the utility connections to each and every building would uh, be uh, done by the individual building owners. But later on, uh, when, when the building owners said that there, there would be a challenge in connecting the utilities to their own building, we, we expected the smart city people to connect or the contractor to give the connections to all the utilities. Now when the utilities are being connected, there was a little bit of a digging and uh, opening of the paver blocks happening. That was one part of the challenge when the paver blocks were being removed and uh, utilities, are, utilities are being connected. It's been going on since last one month, I would say. But at the same time, we saw that the color of the you know, paver blocks that has been uh, given on the surface of the road has worn out with, I would say, heat and water and rains and uh, even the vehicle movement and things like this. So uh, when Mr. R. Ashok, the revenue minister, visited last time, he saw that the color of the tiles had run out and this is not what he expected. So he spoke to the contractor and the contractor has uh, you know, agreed to relay the paver blocks completely at his own cost. Okay, okay all right. Yeah, but uh, you don't see uh, where taxpayers' money is going for a waste right now. No. Uh, I mean, financials, I don't see, uh, I mean, I, w I would look at it this way that, uh, you know, even though that uh, paper blocks were put, the government did not come to a point where they accepted the substandard quality of the paper, paper blocks. They, they expected the contractor to replace that. So it is, it is a good thing by the government when they decided that, you know, they are not going to accept this. And, and even if it means uh, delaying the project, even if it means, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, charging the contractor to uh, replace the entire ties, they took the stand and made him, uh, made him do that. Okay. Your name, your good name? My name is Sanjay, Sanjay Motwani from Bangalore Commercial Association. I'm the president. Thank you. It's going to be a disturbance. No, no, no. Oh, it's okay. Wait. Uh, you want that? <laughs> no, it's absolutely fine. Yeah. yeah go ahead. Okay. Um, so, Anand, can you tell us when exactly did you take up this project? What See. was the deadline given? See, the deadline, this was taken up. This tender was called in 2019, mid somewhere. And uh, post that, Corona started, and we had started this somewhere. And last year, we started this work. And uh, this is a completely, we are redoing the street. So basically, we're shifting the utility lines like sewer lines, BESCOM, 
everything has been redone completely, including the rainwater harvesting, rainwater, stormwater drain, everything. So the utility is everything is done now. Previously, when there was an inspection of uh, our Honorable Chief Minister CM, uh, when he had come, he had come for the inspection of the street. That time, we the, still the work was in progress. It was not completed yet. And uh, the tiles, everything, whatever we laid, this was actually a different kind of a tile what we tried to do for the first time as an experiment we took it up this was not something uh, which was we anticipated the traffic movement to happen immediately post inspection so we had to do a lot of process on the tile basically it was lacquering eight coats of lacquering had to be done so we couldn't do that because of the traffic movement and the continuous rainfall that it had to be a dry condition so it was not there so because of that the color got weathered off if you actually see the tile now even now the stability and the strength is there but it's only the color is weathered off so now we what we have done is that we have got a technology and the process of manufacturing where entire process is done in the factory itself so we need not do anything on the site now okay where uh, basically um, how much was spent for this particular stretch of road this is it, uh, the total cost of this project is for the commercial street is around 5.5 crores, of which we have uh, built around one crore or so. Okay. We have not yet built for anything else. Okay, so there so is. Now that the, re the work that is currently on, mm -hmm. where you have had to remove the tiles again, mm -hmm. what would be the cost of that again? See, this is coming up to roughly about uh, 80 to 90 lakhs as an expenditure. That I am bearing it. I am not loading onto anybody because. This is something which I tried it, and uh, this is nothing that uh, Smart City is involved in terms of uh, thing. And I have committed to the Smart City that uh, I would be doing this. But for the work, once it's completed, then post the inspection, the quality check, and everything from the departments, they would release it. All right. Yeah. Your name? My name is Anand. Anand Pramod. And you are? I'm the contractor for the street here. It was just two months ago, Commercial Street, one of the biggest shopping hubs in the city of Bengaluru, was inaugurated by the then Chief Minister B.S. Yadiropa. In fact, crores of money, taxpayers' money, has been put into this particular project, which is undertaken by the Smart City Company Limited in Bengaluru. But what we understand and see on ground at the moment and just on to my right is basically the paver blocks are being laid once again. Now, the reason being, we understand after the inauguration by the then Chief Minister B.S. Yadirapa, the paver blocks dislodged and also the colours were worn out. And what's important to also note that is the shoddy job, especially done by the contractor, undertaken by the contractor, by Yoga and Company. Now, speaking to the uh, contractor, he also tells us that he will be bearing the cost because the government highlighted the shoddy job done by the contractor. They have asked the contractor to replace with new paver blocks, a good quality paver blocks. And the reason that this has been substandard also and the entire condition of the road completely worn out in a matter of just about a month or so. This is also after the heavy rainfall in the city of Bengaluru. What's important to note that the kind of money that's been invested just on this particular stretch of road, just about uh, 600 to 700 meters, nearly 5.5 crore rupees. But once again, the contractor says that he will bear the cost for at least about one crore and ensure that a good quality road is being given. With video journalist Pradeep, this is Sridhar reporting from Mirror Now in Bengaluru.